Hi everyone! So, today I thought I would do the real dip, just a dip, not a swipe, nothing else with cling film. Uh, last time I tried it, I uh, swiped half um, and dipped half. The dip half was really nice and the swiped half less, so uh, I thought I would just dip this time and see uh, the result of that. I will start by doing a flip cup because I love flip cup and it's an easy way to get the paint nicely mixed on the canvas and uh, I mix my paint the usual way. I have my leftover paint from my, la my last painting. I have the fluorescent blue 50-50 paint media. The X is in purple. It's an ink so it's one part ink, ten part media. Fluorescent orange, it's a soft body, so I do 50-50, uh, paint medium, and fluid acrylic, uh, zinc white, it's a uh, fluid acrylic, and I do a 50-50 paint medium as well. And uh, I add water to my colors, about 10% uh, to the soft body, about 20-25% to the heavy body, and uh, even 5% for the inks, they are really liquid so they do not need a lot. I will put them in my cup, uh, in my cup, in order of density. I'm not sure that will fit in one cup so I will go for a double. I will need a piece of cardboard to put them on. So I can flip them, uh, thank you. So I can uh, flip them easily without making a mess. Wind up with nice. So the dancer here is the zinc white. About half an hour. And after that, it's uh, the dioxazine purple. I researched it and it's a uh, very light density. It's uh, about the same as the orange and the blue. Uh, it's actually a little bit heavier, uh, but not that much. But it's very light. So it's all light density colors with my white. That it's very heavy in density. About half an hour. And then the fluorescent blue and fluorescent orange, same densities, they're tinted pigment, uh, they are the same. The same, but not the same color. So what I do is really simple, use the side of the cup, so I do not mix my colors too much. And then I will just put the canvas on top and flip it that way. The light density colors end up on the bottom, and the heavy density colors end up on top. And by doing so, you have the heavy density on top that will sink into the light colors and uh, push up the light colors up and create cells. So that's how you get cells, really. Uh, I'll zoom you in and I will do that flip. Okay, so uh, if you see, flip this. Oops. So I realized that uh, it's not my table the problem, it's the floor. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> I made it so my so my pushpin would level my canvas out. Put the large bubbles there. Thank you. 
What I like about um, the way I put the colors in the cup is uh, those lines. Uh, when you flip it, the colors are not mixed and everything, so it will create lines. Now, for the final touch, just a dip. I will lift it up that way. There we go. It's pretty nice. Give you a time lapse, you can see how it changes. And I will pop the bubbles and cover the sides. Okay, so it turned out even better than I expected. Uh, the clean film uh, is a really cool thing to dip uh, in the paint because it will give it a bit of a texture because the clean film has fold in it and uh, it will do something like that here. <laughs> the purple line that comes here and then there's so much smoothness under it, it's really beautiful. A uh, bunch of cells are appearing and still appearing, uh, it's going to keep changing. Um, I love the little flower cells here. They're, those are my favorite. A uh, little bit of cells here and all around the canvas really and uh, quite like it to be honest. Some nice wave effect here with the blue and the dioxazine purple and uh, very happy overall with it and we're back uh, like I said very happy with the result I picked my color with the split complementary uh, color harmony so the orange being the main color with the blue and purple well, the dioxazine purple. <coughs> I'm curious to see how this one will dry. Um, I think it's going to be really nice, uh, but all the colors I've used here, except the dioxazine purple, are transparent, so uh, it's going to be cool to see how it will dry out. Uh, they will dry out much darker, especially the purple and uh, I'm pretty sure the white will pretty much uh, disappear and we might be able to see a lot of the dioxys in purple under the blue, under the orange as well so I'm really curious. I love transparent colors, uh, almost all the, all the colors I use are transparent so I'm really curious to see how it will dry out and if we will be able to see more details uh, as it dries. Uh, all the fluorescent colors are transparent, so right there there's a lot of transparency. Uh, zinc white is transparent and uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to see uh, more, much more depth and uh, details underneath. Let me know in the comments if um, there's an idea you want me to try. Uh, I will uh, take note of those ideas and uh, we'll probably do a video on that uh, and explain what I see and what happens as it, as it happens. So on that note, thank you guys for watching, I hope you have a great day, make sure to subscribe for more and I will see you in the next video. Bye!